welcome to this course of product design and value engineering in today's session we'll discuss about different types of product design <laughs> before discussing different types of design let us discuss these two terminologies product design and engineering design as we have discussed in previous session that product design and product development both are not same there have a fundamental difference between both of these uh, same is engineering design and product design are same or there is some difference between them there is a difference between them uh, while we talk about we talk about engineering design that engineering design is process of achieving a function described in specification that means that when we talk about engineering design we only talk about getting the work done from a device when we talk about engineering design we only talk about the specification the requirement that we want and some mechanism or some uh, functions that are performing there and we will get an output for uh, what we have designed the product but when we talk about product design then it is process of incorporating customer needs in a marketable way this is what we have already discussed so when we talk about engineering design an engineering design can be a something that is not a product for example if we talk about car then the entire car that we see in the showroom is a product design because there will be so many things in the car which is not needed for engineers point of view for example the seats that we see the interior the design of interiors the led lights and their looks all these are part of product design but these are not part of engineering design what is the part of engineering design so engine brake uh, wheel suspension systems all these are part of engineering design engineering design only focus on the functionality of a product but product design focuses on on its functionality as well as its uh, marketability also so product design focuses on its aesthetics also while engineering design only focuses on its functionality its safety etc so remember that this is the fundamental difference between engineering design and product design and up till now most of the time when you have heard term design you have thought about engineering design uh, up till now during the uh, your three and a half years of study what you have learned about design is all about engineering design now we want to discuss product design and how to incorporate this engineering design into the product design because product design is a broader term in which engineering design is also included because in product design functionality is also important but along with functionality the other aspects that makes the product marketable such as its looks its aesthetics its feels all this is also important so we already know that this is the design pro process and we have already discussed the design process which starts with identifying the pro problem and repeats itself in a cycle following the steps we are, i am not going to repeat the engineering uh, this product design process because we have already discussed this in lecture 2 if uh, you do not remember please refer it first what we want to discuss in this lecture is engineering design process and how engineering design process will start engineering design process basically starts with a problem definition or a problem statement and from this problem statement uh, we explore what we can do to uh, solve to give a solution to this problem so the first step is to identify the problem itself after that we will explore to find some solutions once the once we have found the solutions we have some ideas about how to uh, address this problem and how we can uh, solve this problem we will build on this solution and we will design a product or we will design a mechanism that can solve our problem after the design is is finished then we will create this uh, solution and uh, the creation may be in physical form in prototype or it can be a simulation a computer model 
and after that if uh, prototype has been built then we will test it we will try it if the our solution works or not if the solution works then uh, then our design is ready but if it does not work or if we are not satisfied with it then we will again go in cycle we will try to make it better and we will design again so this is what an engineering design process looks like in engineering design we do not think about marketability or aesthetics uh, or any of those features in engineering design our main focus is on the functionality only so keep remember that engineering design and product design are different same way product design and product development is also different okay and if we want to see a generalized engineering design process then this is how the generalized engineering design process will look like first we ask that what is the problem once we have uh, identified the problem we will imagine its solutions we will plan how to solve this problem we will create the solution and we will improve the solution and the cycle will repeat keep on repeating itself once uh, we have improved the product we will again ask what is the problem and there will be some problems uh, there all will uh, always be some problem there because no product is perfect or for even that for that matter no one is perfect so no single product can be perfect there is always a scope of improvement and uh, following this process we can keep on improving on our design so this is what a general view of engineering design and product design is i want to make it clear because now we are discussing different types of design and what are different types of engineering design the first one is selection design then parametric design configuration design original design redesign variant design and industrial design what do we mean by all these terms what is all these design means let us look at all these terms one by one the first one is selection design in selection design what we are doing is we are not designing from the scratch but we are selecting from a catalog so uh, some people have design already designed some products for different uses and we are just selecting one product from their catalog for example when you uh, for example when you design any part you will be needing many fasteners so each fastener each screw you know it will have will uh, have some standard dimensions so screws and fasteners are available in standard dimensions and instead of designing this screws and fasteners from the scratch by its force calculation and all this calculation what you will do is you will select the screw or fasteners from a catalog which is suitable to you and you are just uh, selecting a product rather than designing it so this is what we mean by selection design the next type of design is parametric design what do we mean by parametric design when we are de designing a similar structure with just uh, variety of uh, any one parameter then what we can do is we can design our entire process entire design process based on only one parameter and this is known as parametric design so if i want to design a new component then i do not need to do all the calculations from the start from for each component i just need to change one parameter and there will be equations for all other components which will be readily available for example if you are designing a, a cable bridge this type of cable bridge then there are so many number of cable uh, cable bridge uh, of these types are there in world and uh, when if you want to design a new one you do not need to uh, uh, you do not need to consider all the factors of wind or other types of loads that are uh, there in cable bridge or you do not need to do its structural analysis all over again uh, there are some formulas empirical formulas and uh, some people have already derived the best formulas to design this type of bridge you just need to apply these formulas this is what we mean by parametric design the another type of design 
is configuration design what we mean by configuration design configuration design is a modular design in which you just select some parts according to your needs and you assemble them for example if you are uh, thinking about uh, using a pc or designing a pc for a particular application for example if you want to use a pc for a high graphics requirement uh, fea process or high graphics re requirement uh, design simulation processes then you just select the monitor that are available there you just select the cpu in cpus also there will be number of components you select the graphics card requirements if you want 8 gb graphics card then you select only 8 gb graphics card and put it in here if you want uh, 16 gb of ram then you select just 16 gb of ram and put it in this cpu so you are not designing a new product but instead of designing a new product you are just assembling the already available design in a product according to your requirements such that your product works so this is what we mean by configuration design in which we are only selecting the configurations we are not designing from the scratch so you will not select a 3.52 gb of graphics because that is what you need you know that you uh, there will be a 2 gb of graphics card available and there will be a 4 gb of graphics card available so you need uh, uh, your exact require requirement even though is 3.52 gb of graphics card you will select a 4 gb of graphics card because that is what is available in the market so this is what we mean by configuration design the next is original design original design is the first design or first prototype that has been built and for original design you need to calculate each and every component you need to design each and every component of this design so the first tape recorder that was ever built is said to be original design but even after that all the tape recorder that have been built are not original design because the original design is already there available in the market and then you are building on this design so you will be doing some modification and when you are doing those modification it is known as redesign so what you do in redesign is that you take the already existing design and you do some modification as it is shown here so the design is already there and you are doing some modification in some part of the design all other components will be same and uh, it will be same as it was in original design this is known as redesign the redesign actually makes your original design improve it makes your original design be better and iterations of these redesigns makes your product ultimately survivable in the market then there will be something called variant design what is variant design variant design is a type of design when you take a product and you give multiple options for the customers to decide for example if you are building a smart watch and you give customers the choice of memory that they need uh, so smart watch will be the same all the components will be the same but the, they have choice of uh, taking 4 GB of memory, 8 GB of memory or 16 GB of memory. So the same product have different variants. Similarly, we see there these in uh, many electronic items. For example, if you are going to buy a mobile phone, then there will be a variant for, uh, according to their memory size or their uh, processors uh, or uh, their uh, RAM size, etc. When you are going to buy a car, then there will be very variants according to the safety that they provide or the size of the engine or the they have CNG model or not, etc. So all these are variant design. They have the same model, same product and there will be small changes in the variant and all these variant will be introduced at the same time in market. What is the difference between redesign and variant design? In redesign, you will redesign the product to make some improvements. But in variant design, you are providing customers some options to choose for. So in redesign, once you design a new product, once you redesign a product, your old design will be obsolete from the market. But in variant design, 
you are giving the all this uh, variant at a time to choose for the last the last is industrial design and what do we mean by industrial design industrial design is a type of design when you are selling uh, when you plan to sell multiple uh, designs or when you plan to sell multiple products uh, in the market and we are uh, when you are hoping for a very large market so if the market is very large then you wish that your product should be competitive and it should be elegant as well as it should be attractable so you will put very much effort during its design its aesthetics its looks and you will try to optimize each and every aspect of it so whenever you see some elegant designs it is result of industrial design because those designs are made for industrial use or industrial purposes that does not mean that uh, industrial design is something that industrial people use any design can be an industrial design if it is used uh, it if it is designed for mass if it is optimized and it if uh, its aesthetics its uh, ergonomics and all these uh, considerations are there for example here we have a example of a speaker which is designed uh, for industrial design so this speaker looks very elegant also it can be split in two speakers and when we, we uh, do not need these two spe uh, speakers we can easily fit them in one cylinder so this looks very elegant and this is the result of industrial design some other examples might be the coca cola bottle which we see so the shape of this coca cola bottle is uh, designed uh, to uh, maximize the customer attraction and uh, to maximize according to our hand ergonomics so that we can uh, grab this bottle very easily so that is also an example of industrial design so these are all types of design all type of engineering design specifically uh, that you will come across during this course and this is the terminologies that will be very helpful to you also uh, this will uh, be a reference for you when we talk about design in the future okay this will be all for this session thank you